Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this gray glam with glitter. And I'm using the Morphe 18A Booyah Away Palette. So if you want to learn how to create this, please keep watching. So I'm starting off by using the Believe Beauty Concealer. This is very affordable. It's 4 to $5, I believe, in any Dollar General store. And I'm just going to use this to clean out the bottom of my brow. And I'm using it as a primer on my lid as well. Also, I want to let you guys know that I'm only going to be using one palette for this whole makeup look. So you guys don't have to worry about dipping your brush into a different palette or anything like that. So the first shade I'm going to be using is called Applause. It looks like a brown, but it has like a gray undertone to it. And it, that's kind of weird, right? <laughs> I'm using the M441 brush by Morphe. And this is a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to be buffing this out all over my outer V area and all over my crease. Also, if you guys are wondering, I did not set my concealer. So I'm just applying this just like that. And for my next shade, I'm going in with Headliner. This is one of my favorite colors on this palette. It's gray and I love it. It's so easy to blend and smooth. And I'm going in with the JH34 brush. This is a smaller blending brush from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe collection. For those of you that are new, I'm going to help you guys understand how I normally do my makeup. See if this trick helps you. So every time I apply an eyeshadow color, I always use small amounts and then blend it out and then I go back in with more of it and then I blend it out and start building up the intensity as I go because if you go in with a dark shade and you go in with a lot of product, it's going to be harder to blend and then another thing, it's going to be easier to make mistakes and they're going to be harder to fix. I know it's pretty repetitive and I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, oh, that's too much work. But makeup is art and that is a part of art. Like take your time to create your masterpiece and, you know, things will look good eventually. And with practice, it makes perfect. So now I'm going back in with my brush M441 again and I'm not using any product. I'm just using it to blend these two shades together. By the way, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys can get notified when I upload my new videos or my new tutorials. I know that um, this Friday I'm going to be posting a new life update if you guys are interested in watching that. So don't forget to subscribe to me and click the little bell. Next, I'm going in with the shade Autograph and I'm using the JH41 brush. I'm going to be spraying this with the Urban Decay Setting Spray so that I get better results from that shimmery shade. And you guys can use your fingers to apply this. This is not a cut crease. I'm not going to take this all the way to the outer corner. I'm just going to leave it halfway down on my lid. Next, I'm going in with the shade Headliner again and I'm going to be using a different brush. This is from Sephora and it's number 15, I believe. This tiny brush is going to help me go into like smaller areas. So we're going to be using this on that outer corner of our eye just so that we can connect the shade autograph with headliner and so it looks well blended and there's no harsh lines. And now I'm going in with the shade sold out and I'm using the M506 brush. This is a dark shade with some blue sparkles in it. You can't really see them on camera for some reason. But anyways, I'm applying this on that outer V area lightly. I didn't take too much of it. So I can build this up little by little like I've said before. And I'm kind of doing like an eyeliner shape. And I'm not covering up all of the gray that I applied. It's important to leave some of that peeking out. And now I'm going back in with the JH34. This is the previous brush that I was using with the shade headliner. But I didn't grab any product. I'm just using this to blend those shades together. So that it doesn't look harsh. And that eyeliner wing looks very smoky. So now I'm going in with this glitter. This is from Glitter Injections. I'm not sure what it's called. But I will leave it down below. I have to look into it. Um, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to apply this with the brush JH42. And I'm spraying this with my Urban Decay Setting Spray. Here's a trick for when you guys are using glitter. Because I know it can be very patchy. And it looks kind of nasty when you don't apply anything under it. Try using a metallic shade or like any shimmery shade under it with the same color. And it'll blend out good. And it won't look like there are missing areas with no product. Just like I am doing right here. And I'm bringing over the glitter a little bit onto the gray and onto the black. So that it blends in and it's not harshly. It doesn't look like it's harshly on there if that makes sense. 
And now I'm just cleaning out the outer corners of my eyeshadow because I like this to look sharp, kind of like a cat eye, if that makes sense. I'm using the Believe Beauty Concealer and I'm using an InStylish beauty sponge to clean this out. I also have a 10% off discount code if you guys are interested in purchasing this sponge. The information is down below in the details and the code is EMILY10. Now I'm going in with the shade headliner again and I'm taking the M432 brush. I'm going to be applying this on my lower lash line tightly on there. If you guys want any brush, this is the one that I recommend for that. For this specific area, it's so easy to apply and it keeps the shades tightly on there. Here's a trick for when you're applying eyeshadow on your lower lash line. Try to mark where you want the shadow to be at, like I am doing. I'm just packing the shade on there. I'm not blending anything yet. And then take a different brush. Now I'm going in with the brush E36. It's from Morphe as well. And this is the shade Applause. And I'm using this to blend that shade out and blend them together so it looks smoky, as you guys can see now. And it's going to help you keep that shade into place. And it's not going to go lower because I personally think that it doesn't look that well when you apply too much eyeshadow on your lower lash line. And especially if you take it down too low, it, you're gonna look like a raccoon. I used to make that mistake very often, but then again, you guys can do your makeup however you guys like. That's just my personal opinion. Now I'm going in with my favorite mascara by Too Faced. This is the Better Than Sex mascara. And I'm only applying a couple of coats on my top lashes because I'm gonna be using some false lashes like always. And also I'm using this on my bottom lashes too. It's very important you guys, it doesn't matter how short they are, this helps your eye look pop even more. Now I'm taking this new eyeliner that I purchased from NYX and it's white. I'm gonna be using this on my bottom waterline and I just thought that this would make my eyes pop more and it would go so good with the silver and the glitter and the black and gray. After applying that, I'm going in with my Maybelline gel eyeliner and this has become my favorite because it's very dark and it's very easy to use and it doesn't dry out like others do and if there's any drugstore one that I recommend it's this one so as you guys can see I'm pulling my skin back right here with a sponge so that I don't mess up my other makeup the reason why I'm doing this is because it helps me stabilize my little brush so that I can apply the eyeliner smoothly and I can make a sharp line and I don't mess up so yeah guys I'm not gonna be creating a wing because I want these colors to actually pop and I know that the wing is gonna cover some of it so yeah after this I'm gonna be applying some liquid eyeliner this is from Italia Deluxe and I like to use these two because it looks darker and when I apply my false lashes it doesn't mess up the inner corner of my eyes because it's very packed on there and it's very dark so yeah after that, I'm going in with my KJ Lashes. These are only $7, guys. I've used these multiple times already, and they're not messed up yet. So I recommend these. I have a link down below to their website. If you guys are interested, they're only $7, and they're very easy to use. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see other type of color tutorials because I know right now I'm very into the blues and grays and dark tones like that. So yeah guys, that is all for this look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to turn on the little bell so that you guys can get notified when I upload. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.